Making a pizza shouldn't be as hard as 50 Cent trying to hang upside down at the Super Bowl. And that's why the sheet pan pizza we're making today will take you 15 minutes of actual work, but will still be just as flavorful as something from your favorite pizza place for a fraction of the price and the calories. Let's get into it. Starting with a food processor on a food scale, throw 390 grams of all-purpose flour along with 100 grams of vital wheat gluten into the processor. Now, if you don't have vital wheat gluten, you can substitute with AP flour, but please note that will remove over 75 grams of protein from this recipe. And that is the exact opposite of what we are trying to do here as a channel that's aiming for weight loss and higher protein recipes. After that comes six grams of salt and seven grams of instant yeast. We're going to put the top onto the food processor and blend this for 30 seconds so the ingredients are well combined. I then add 15 grams of avocado oil, but you could use the oil of your choice, and blend once again for 30 seconds. Once that's done blending, I grab a cup and weigh out 360 grams of water and heat that water up in the microwave until the water reaches anywhere from 110 to 120 degrees. This usually takes about one minute or so. I turn my processor on high and start slowly mixing in the water until all of it is poured in. Once a dough ball has formed, I continue blending for another 15 to 20 seconds. Oh, by the way, you can do this by hand in a bowl too, but I wanted to show you the easiest way possible to make this pizza. Once that is done, we're going to pour our dough out onto the counter and simply shape it into a ball. When formed, grab a bowl and lightly spray it with oil and put that big, beautiful dough ball into the bowl. Cover with cling wrap and put in a warm spot in your kitchen and forget about it for an hour and a half to two hours. Now, go do whatever your heart desires. Go to the gym and sweat it out. Watch Netflix, take a nap. And don't sweat it if you aren't back in 90 minutes. I have left this for three plus hours before and the end product was just as good. When you are done doing your thing, return to your bowl and you will see the dough has risen quite a bit. It is time to get our sheet tray out and start forming our pizza. Pour four grams of avocado oil on your sheet tray and spread it out covering every square inch of the tray. This will not only ensure your dough doesn't stick to the pan, but it will give it a nice browning on the crust that will give it that signature crunch. Let's take that dough out and let it hang for a few seconds so that it starts forming a rectangle shape on its own because that is our end goal anyway. At this point, I'm going to put it in the middle of the pan and and using the tips of my fingers, I'm going to start pushing this dough out. Doing it in this way will give the dough air pockets, making the final product fluffier and thicker. And who doesn't like it fluffier? and thicker. I pop in some AirPods and jam to some music, and before I know it, the dough has been stretched. Roughly about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna take another sheet pan and cover this bad boy for about 30 minutes. The extra rise you will get from this process is crucial for the thick fluffiness we want. Do not skip it. Let's preheat the oven to 400 degrees and put the sheet pan pizza near the oven so it rises even faster. While we are waiting, let's shred our cheese. Although we have to use shredded cheese for the fat-free portion of this recipe, I will not let you get away with using pre-shredded mozzarella. It is a sin in this household and will ruin this pizza or any pizza for that matter, in my humble opinion. I myself have a five pound block of part skim low moisture mozzarella from Sam's Club since I am running through it so fast. But you can ask your local deli to slice you a nine ounce chunk of mozzarella and you will have the perfect amount of cheese for this pizza. We will shred this down in a grater and put it in the fridge until we are ready to build. After 30 minutes, this is what our dough looks like. It looks perfect and has risen about 50 percent but the corners have come in a bit this is an easy fix because the dough is both relaxed and pliable after rising just lift up the part that needs stretching and give it a very light pull towards the corner problem solved time to top our pizza let's talk sauce any no sugar added barbecue sauce with 15 calories per serving will work great here i prefer sweet baby rays and i like my pizza pretty saucy so i will be using 220 grams but you can use what you think is best for you i like to have a nice amount of crust so i leave about a half inch exposed along the edges of the pan. You may be asking, Nick, why haven't we cooked the chicken yet? The answer to that is simple. Sam's Club. The pre-cooked chicken I bought has to be some of the juiciest chicken I have ever tasted. Not only does it cost just a touch more per pound than uncooked chicken, but it is ready to use right out of the package. I promised you that it was going to be easy right? Let's put 252 grams of that chicken spread evenly across the pizza. I break up any big chunks into bite-sized pieces for maximum eating enjoyment, and I put it underneath the cheese because I don't want it to lose any of its juiciness by just sitting on top of everything and withering away in the oven. Personally, I am not a raw onion guy, but if you are, this is the time to add some thinly sliced pieces to your pizza. We will then put 224 grams of fat-free cheese on top of the chicken, and to finish this beauty off, we will put 200 
152 grams of part skim mozzarella as our final layer. Time to throw our pan into the oven for about 16 to 20 minutes or until we get a really nice browning on the cheese. Once it looks to my preference, I will take it out, add some cilantro as a garnish and cut it into eight evenly sized pieces. You now have a scrum diddlyumptious barbecue chicken pizza. You know, this pizza pairs perfectly with my 20 calorie per serving chipotle sauce, and you can click here to see how to make it. Deuces.